These are the uh, Vietnam era US military jungle boots. This particular set is from 1983, uh, November 1983, spike protective. Very characteristic is the Panama tread, and it does not have the rear seam. However, neither of these are determinations of the date of the boot or how early it is. Here we have a size 5 narrow, manufactured August 1969. It has Panama tread and it has a rear seam. Typically, the rear seam and the Vibram tread are characteristics of an early boot and make it more desirable. Here we have a pair of boots made in 1967 with a rear seam and a Panama tread. Here's 1980 boots again. These are going to be the most common you're going to find surplus and retail. Made in the 1980s. And the Panama treads are going to be the most common one you're going to be able to find. Uh, Vibram tread is made only during the early years of Vietnam and has been very hard to find ever since. What some people have done, I've done this with my reproduction, more military boots, that after the Panama tread is worn off, I went back and replaced it with a Vibram tread. However, it's slightly different from the older Vibram, of course, the, the emblem, and a more construction style cross, as opposed to an original Vibram tread, substantially different. Is there an unissued pair? This particular set is made 6, 1967. And here we have very hard to find Korean made reproductions. These are made in the 1980s and had a Vibram tread. Since they're reproduction boots, they don't have the rear seam. However, they do have their own reproduction of the Vibram tread, which varies slightly from an actual Vibram tread. The easiest giveaway is this raised area. But also, there's sl slight differences. The tread itself is more angular rather than Vibram's more contoured shapes. Now, some people have said that they used Vibram tread U.S. jungle boots in the movie Aliens. However, since these boots were only in the early years of Vietnam and were not available for the most part in surplus in the 80s, It'd be very hard for every actor in the movie to be using actual Vibram tread U.S. made jungle boots. The 1980s, these were uh, very common in the um, surplus market. Korean made knockoffs. China hadn't gone in the market of making surplus reproduction military yet. So it's suspected from multiple sources that Korean made jungle boots with Vibram tread is what they used in the movie. Here we have the uh, later nylon vertical weave belts with the Davis buckle. One of these is real, one of these is fake. The real, real Davis buckle has the Davis patent and their emblem. And the Korean fake does not. And that's the only way to tell the 1980s South Korea reproduction from an actual genuine U.S. military belt. Here's a Davis belt with a patent and the emblem. This one's a size medium, dated 1967. This is an early Davis belt. And here are the Korean knockoffs. Again, they do not have the emblem or the patent on their buckle, which is the only way to tell. And they also, using a M1936 style pistol belt, uh, horizontal weave, and this is cotton duct. So, very quality reproductions made uh, in Korea in the 1980s. Sometimes it's very hard to tell from an actual U.S. military item. 